Each breakwater has its own area for the production and storage of Delusa. In order to reduce transport to a minimum, production is carried out near to the breakwaters. Delusa are produced in sizes of 5, 15, 20 and 30 tonnes. The Delusa have to harden for at least two weeks before being placed. Since production is greater than storage capacity in the yard, the remainder are stored along the site roads. That's how they're placed. Delusa destroy wave energy and give protection against the surf, which is particularly strong along this coast. driver places the Delusa so that they bond together. An aerial view shows the breakwaters steadily growing out into the ocean. Richards Bay Lagoon originally had an average water depth of only one metre. Therefore, extensive dredging operations were required to form the harbour basin and the entrance channel. The large dredgers had to be brought into the lagoon from the sea. The shallow water and very strong currents in the natural opening between the lagoon and the ocean made this operation a difficult undertaking. A dredger is lying off the coast. Loaded on a large pontoon, it was towed here from Europe. Now it has to be brought into the lagoon. A light line from the pontoon is pulled by a helicopter to the beach. This line is used to pull in a tow rope. The first hurdle of the manoeuvre has been cleared. Using the tow rope, Bulldozers pull the pontoon with its dredger through the surf into the lagoon. Seldom before have so many dredgers been employed on the construction of a harbour as there are here. 170 million cubic metres have to be dredged for the project. Dredged material which is suitable will be used for the construction of the four and a half kilometre long berm wall which runs across the lagoon and for reclaiming land for industry and road construction. In the first development stage, the harbour basin is to be dredged to a depth of 19 metres. Later, it will be deepened to 22 metres, and all structures have been designed to suit this depth. An entrance channel 300 metres wide and 7 kilometres long 
is to be dredged from the lagoon to the deep sea. The dredgers are attended by smaller craft, such as these launches. There are also floating cranes, tugs, bunker craft and floating workshops amongst the total of 43 supporting vessels. On this project, there are nine cutter suction dredgers, Klaus, Concorde, Beverweich 31, Sleedrecht 21, Mascaret, Gravelines, Amistol, Reina Fabiola, Tramontaine, and two hopper dredgers, Hendrik Zanen and Geopotes 10. They belong to the Dutch and Belgian partners of the consortium. Approximately 300 European specialists and 1,200 local workers are employed on various dredging activities. The dredgers loosen the seabed with their cutter heads. The soil is then sucked up and discharged through pipelines. A total of 80 kilometers of pipelines was laid.